CES is always the place to go if you want to see what the future of TVs is going to look like in just a few years. Possibly less if the companies really end up committing to a product. Samsung is here to show off a new kind of TV technology called Micro LED, which they are putting into a new concept product which they call The Wall. This won't be used to keep out the White Walkers, but rather give you a digital screen that could theoretically be as big as you wanted. The Wall is a 146 inch version of their Micro LED display that is designed to fit into your home theater, but is also modular, which means you can add on even more screen real estate to this monster. So how does this technology work? Well, if you've ever been to a sporting event where images and video have been displayed on something called a Jumbotron, it's the same idea. Those displays, instead of having a liquid crystal layer and an LED backlight, use individual lights to generate the images that are displayed. Micro LED just takes that concept and shrinks it to fit it into a home theater. Now the benefits of a screen technology like this, other than the fact that the screen could be as big as your house, is that since each light turns on and off independently, the contrast ratio of this display could theoretically be infinite. Very similar to what we see in OLED TVs. This is what gives those TVs the incredibly deep blacks and vivid colors that they are able to display. The micro LEDs are also capable of producing 2000 nits of brightness which will aid well for HDR content. Now there isn't a price associated with this yet as this is really nothing more than a concept product from Samsung. There will be what Samsung calls a global launch sometime in the spring where more information will be available on this new technology. For the foreseeable future, this kind of technology will mainly look to be used in super high-end home theaters and corporate use. However, I would definitely want to see this technology make it into a public movie theater, especially if they could get it as large as an IMAX screen. How great would that be? Although tickets would then probably cost about $100 per person to pay off that kind of purchase. Guess we'll have to wait and see.